My name is Jeff Darcy. I'm an acupuncturist, herbalist, and director of the Darcy Wellness Clinic in Natick. And with me in the studio is Yuan Ling Liu, who is a registered dietitian, acupuncturist. We have Patrick Crowley, body worker, nice uh, licensed massage therapist, and Dr. Couch, uh, who is a chiropractor. So we're going to talk about headaches, and uh, of course we know you know, this uh, uh, is uh, an epidemic in our society that so many people have uh, headaches. The vast majority of them are, are tension-related headaches. So, Yuan Ling, how many headaches are there in the U.S.? There are 45 million people who are experiencing some sort of headache. Right. A lot of stress, so create a lot of tensions. We're stuck in fifth gear. Right. Most people have got two jobs, are working extremely hard. Right. And Lack of exercise, yeah, yeah. eating, uh, healthy eating patterns. So all of those contribute to a lot of the headaches that you see. Right. I would say the majority, maybe 90% of the people who come in to see me, whether they're coming in for another main complaint, they have an incredible amount of tension in their shoulders and their neck. Um, so massage is very helpful for releasing the tension in the shoulders and neck through uh, different techniques, trigger points, yeah. and different manipulative techniques. And Peng, you know, as a chiropractor, you know, you see a lot of upper cervical problems, you know, whiplash, all kinds of different problems con contributing to tension headaches. Mm -hmm. How much of your practice, you know, is headache related? I mean, how many people do you see? Probably a, a solid. 15-20% of yeah, the patients yeah. that I see um, will come in for headaches. And, and from your perspective, what are some of the causes of that? Oftentimes there are fixations in the upper cervical spine due to so a fixation. What's a fixation? A Maybe you could fixation is a vertebrae that essentially isn't moving quite right. Um, others may know it as a subluxation. It's essentially when that vertebrae isn't moving right, the muscles around that vertebrae are really contracted, which is preventing that, that vertebrae from moving in the first place. Yeah. If we're able to get into that vertebrae and do some manipulations to it uh, through, again, a wide variety of techniques. Uh, we're able to loosen up that muscle and decrease a lot of those spasms and uh, therefore th those headaches. So I've heard the, you know, as an acupuncturist, you've heard the analogy of the tent pole, that the ropes of the tent are the muscles and the tent pole being the, uh, the structure of the spine. And when the muscles get so tight, they torque over the tent pole, they pull the uh, uh, spine over and bring it out of alignment. So that impedes nerve flow, it impedes blood flow. Right. So presumably a lot of what you're doing, trying to get balance back into the spine, opens that up. Oh, absolutely, yes. So uh, is that true for uh, tension headaches as well as for, you know, the vast majority of headaches are tension related, but there are of course, you know, migraines that are especially, you know, uh, severe and agonizing. Ha have you been able to help Migraines? Absolutely. Migraines is, is, is definitely a separate entity from the, the tension or the cervicogenic type headaches. Uh, migraine headaches have to do with, with uh, aberrations in flow of blood to the brain. And you know, that, that's pretty much established as, as, the, cause of, as the cause of migraines. Right. So do you think uh, Isaac Newton had uh, <laughs> <laughs> cervical problems when the, when the apple dropped on his head? <laughs> yeah, he probably did. <laughs> If in, in some sport you take a knock on the head, or in, in soccer, you know, if you're heading a very high header, sometimes that will shift the cervical vertebra out of balance. Sure. Well, well what it will do essentially is when, when you injure your neck, the muscles in the neck try to protect the spinal cord pretty much at all costs. Yeah. So it will spasm the muscles around the neck, and one of the really important muscles in the neck is called the rectus capitis posterior minor muscle. Can you say that? Three times. <laughs> Rectus capitis posterior <laughs> minor muscle. Uh, it's a muscle in the very top part of your neck, and it connects, it forms actually a dural bridge with the outside covering of the brain called the dura mater. And when there's tension on that rectus capitis posterior minor muscle, <laughs> you could say it three times. <laughs> it pulls on that dura mater, which is very pain sensitive and causes a majority of these cervical genic or attention type headaches. Stress and tension leading into headaches. Most people will approach this with pharmaceuticals, right? They'll go to the drugstore, they'll Tylenol, Advil. You know, we know that uh, you know, 32,000 deaths every year are caused by non-steroidal anti-inflammatories due to kind of depleting the intestinal lining, causing bleed outs, causing all kinds of problems. Many people get stomach problems from pharmaceuticals. So yours is a, uh, a non-drug approach 
no side effects. You, you're using what primarily acupuncture and herbal medicine to in your practice to treat headaches. Right, and um, <clears throat> one thing is that no matter what kind of condition you have, it's always a symptom of uh, something else underneath that's. Uh, you're not, uh, you know, addressing. So just by taking a pain medication, it's only numbing the sensation, and it doesn't last. And uh, believe it or not, this morning we had uh, a migraine headache uh, uh, <clears throat> patient. She, when her uh, migraine uh, being triggered by stress, uh, you know, noisy environment, a certain food, um, or lack of sleep, fatigue in general, she has to take all a uh, very high dose of pain medication and she has to lie in a dark room. Yeah. And imagine yeah. having two kids and uh, unable to, you know, go out, uh, help them out and you have to completely And often seclude. times hormonally related. So right. it's two, you know, I've treated patients who two or three days of their life every single month is right. completely carved away from them. Right. If there is a pain, that means there's something are not flowing smoothly. Uh, Chinese medicine, uh, talks about when there's lack of a smooth flow of energy and blood that creates a pain sensation. So the body is telling you there's something wrong. Natural flow of energy that gets interrupted. In traditional Chinese medicine, the idea of energy coming up into the head, if we're thinking all day, if we're angry, there's this classic idea of being red face or very strong emotions will send the energy up to the head. But a lot of the problem is, is it's not recirculating back down away from the head. So from a, a Chinese mechanism of, of looking at the uh, perspective of looking at this is about pulling energy away from the head, getting it to circulate more efficiently. So this is a, a study that shows that uh, acupuncture is an effective tension headache remedy. But the interesting thing about this, Yuan Ling, is it not only relieves the pain, but cuts the rate of reoccurrence, reoccurrence almost by half. So it's really not a symptomatic approach. The idea of regular acupuncture uh, will reduce the headaches themselves, but also cut by 50% the reoccurrence. Acupuncture patients had 22 fewer days of, uh, of, of headache per year compared to the usual care group. So they compared the group that got regular acupuncture to a regular group of headache sufferers. And that there was 15% less medication 25% fewer doctor office visits uh, and um, so the, these are very significant results. How does, how does herbal medicine help? I mean there's the classic, I mean we all know that aspirin he helps a headache. Well aspirin came from salicylic acid that came from meadowsweet and uh, willow bark uh, that was commonly used in, in, in America for you know thousands of years before we arrived for pain and for a headache. So in, in, in use of Chinese medicine has so many more tools, herbal tools available. That's a dramatic figure, Patrick. You know, massage therapy for people with severe neck, back, shoulder pain in, in the 65 and, all, and older group tripled. So people are starting to realize, wait a minute, I've got a massive headache. Lots of Tylenol is not kind of working for me. I, I, I'm wearing my shoulder is very high, I should see a massage therapist. A, a simple progressive relaxation technique of starting at the head, sweeping the mind down through the body methodically over 20 minutes, relaxing as you go. Studies at the, at the, at the Deaconess Mind Body Institute showed that if you did that 20 minutes every day for a five week period, that that would reduce tension headaches by 70%. So just the simple effect of moving the mind th methodically right, through the body, the relaxing. Body. And then it's believed that it helps get hold of the relaxation response. That it takes 20 minutes a day for a five week period to get a hold of the relaxation response so that we're able to at will create a relaxation response in the body.